Welcome back. When we left you last, we had the power system in our Winnebago Revel Sprinter upgraded from failing AGM batteries to a new Rome Rig lithium battery system that has eliminated all of our power anxieties. And before we knew it, Aaron had us back on the road again towards our next adventure. We are Jim, Ember, and Cynthia. And today we're on a brand new mission, finishing up upgrades that we had appointments for in California and now we're traveling as quickly and as safely as we can to our final destination. A story and an adventure that we are super excited to share with you. But first, we continue to get our van ready for its future adventures. So today's first stop is at San Carlos German Motor Works, where Tony completed a computer upgrade and replaced that headlight that went out on us last week. If California was home, San Carlos Motor Works would be our go-to place for all of our Sprinter needs. After stocking up on all the California goodies that I've been craving, we had a short amount of time to kill before our appointment at Owl Vans in Anaheim, California. So, in true Wings and Wheels Alaska style, we rolled in unannounced on Canyon Adventure Vans in Topanga, California to say hello. You see, these guys are special to us because when we bought the Revel, we knew we wanted a lounge system in the garage area to hold all of our adventure gear. The only problem was, we didn't really know exactly what we needed until we started to use the van. And now that we've had our garage lounge storage system for two years, we have a better idea of what we might want in the future. And before we knew it, Jenna was making a few new tweaks to our system and Jason showed us the innovative new products that they've created for the Revel and the Storyteller. We loved finally having the chance to meet this amazing couple behind Canyon Adventure Vans because they are yet another reason why we love our Revel so much. And you can certainly look forward to us returning here to have new goodies installed as the old wears out. But for now, we take pride in having one of the original GLS systems in our Revel, so Let's take a peek at the new upgrades that they've come up with for the Revel, shall we? Okay. Yeah. So this is some new things that we're working on for um, 2021 is doing some special edition powder coating. So we take our basic aluminum that we're using now, which matches perfectly in the Revel, but we're also going to start to individualize it a little bit. So if somebody wanted something in a different color, we can do that as well. Um, it's a beautiful finish on there. And I really, I like the charcoal because it kind of ties in with everything. But that's something new. And then obviously these are our new doors. We got the panel stiffeners. This is all new for 2021. Um, sliding doors. And we took the handles off. So we used to have little handles right here. But a lot of people sleep down here. They'll have a third person sleep and it's just too sharp and things sticking out. So we went ahead and got rid of that and just made these nice easy sliders. So great for access. Um, for the 2021, obviously, we have the water station cover. And the reason that we made this, people ask, why did you guys make that? Number one, aesthetically, it drove me crazy because it just didn't look that clean back here. But then we noticed a lot of people to climb up in the back of their vans, they would grab this and pull themselves up. So I thought, oh my gosh, that's a pipe ready to break right there. Mm -hmm. So we made that little compartment. And it's nice, you can put your shower hose in there. Um, we have the ultralight bed risers. This is kind of new. A lot of people like to put their mountain bikes in here or even just have more storage or even sleep somebody here and not feel so claustrophobic with the bed all the way down. So we have these ultralight um, bed risers and they weigh about five pounds each. They're so light and they're all on Velcro. So just super lightweight, pop in and out. You can leave them in for one trip and then take them out on another trip. So you get to your, you know how, what a pain it is to store window covers, to store everything, just everything needs a place. So our idea is we're starting to develop products that you don't have to put them anywhere, they stay put. So one of these, one of the items, new items that we have is the Showtime curtain. So it's on a track system. So we mount it 
there is no holes you don't need any to drill any holes all you do is take one screw out here one screw out here that holds your uh, cab shelf in place and then you put our track up and you screw it back in there same hole and everything and then all you do is you get to your destination you undo the little velcro and it just slides it's magnetic it meets in the middle and now you have privacy just like that now that is cool and the other cool thing too is normally everybody does a curtain right here right, right. well it's already so tight in this area by doing it back in here and having it curve on the track it gives it just makes this area feel a lot more open especially when you turn the chairs around as well so it just it feels a lot more spacious and it's super easy even if it's just you want to go to the bathroom or take a quick shower on the side of the road you close it you get ready to take off you swing it over we have a built-in we make all this stuff by the way here locally in Chatsworth California all the sewing and everything and then you just take the strap and strap it so it doesn't move while you're driving and that's it we have a new shower curtain that uh, we haven't started shipping yet but this is coming it just slides right out and goes all the way around and then has magnets on the bottom so when you're taking a shower not a drip hits the floor it just hits the curtain and rolls right into the shower pan so it just gives you a lot more space in there and then when you want to close it up super easy that night we mooch docked in the parking lot of canyon adventure vans and i got caught up in all the work that i've been behind on we woke up early the next morning to let Ember play, and once again, we hit the road onto our next appointment. And I don't think we've mentioned this. When we left Alaska, we left without a full-size spare tire. We had a spare that we could use to limp out of a situation if we needed to, but it was time to have a full-size spare mounted on the rear of our van, and Owl Vans in Anaheim took wonderful care of us when they put the rack on. And then, we went hunting for a full-size spare. They weren't as easy to find as we thought, so we decided to order one when we get to our final destination. But for now, we're heading into Palm Springs because it's laundry time. We're headed east. And south. East, then south. <laughs> We've gone all this time without fruits and vegetables and Jim just pulled over because he knew that I was drooling as we were going by all these signs that said avocados, six for a dollar. And in Alaska, avocados are $2.50 to $3 each. So I got these strawberries for $3. They had the big one for eight. Bananas and oranges for Couple bucks. I didn't get avocados because um, they didn't look as good. You guys find those later. And then jalapeno pistachios and this bag of onions, two dollars.
and it was hot, like 102 degrees hot. And all we really wanted to do was get our chores done and find another beautiful remote spot for Jim to whip up another Instant Pot inspiration with our new Rome Rig Lithium system. And of course, leave it up to Jim to find us another beautiful place every single time. I'm fed up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. So I let go, let go. I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. Yeah. Welcome back to another Instant Pot Inspiration. So today, we're actually going to do a chuck roast. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw some ghee inside the Instant Pot. And then we want to set it to saute. Our ghee has melted already. All right, looks like our bottom should be seared at this point. We're gonna flip this over. We're gonna chop up just a little bit of onion. In a small bowl, we wanna mix up our seasonings. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt, a tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of chili powder, Teaspoon of cumin. A little bit of Tony's. So I'll mix this all up really well. We want to pull our meat out of the Instant Pot, set it on a plate. Spread it across the top. It is very hot. And spread this out. We're going to take a cup of beef, beef broth. And you see all this glaze in there. We're going to use this to help us deglaze the bottom of the pot. Keeping all of that meat flavor in there without having a messy pot. I can tell you it smells good already though. 
I'm gonna throw our onions in here with it. Make sure our valve is closed, as always. We're gonna pressure cook. Oh, come on, cancel. I'm gonna pressure cook. On high. This is the longest recipe we've ever tried. For an hour and a half. And then when we open it up, we simply have to use some lime and some cilantro and chop it up a little bit. Our pressure valve has popped, which means it stopped building pressure. What did it do to our power? Very, very little. It is like falling apart. Wow. As little garnish, the cilantro that we cut earlier will go right in there. All right, first bite. That was worth waiting for. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's really good. Let's eat. So, what did we learn today? We prefer a slower pace, and now that we've had to pick our pace up, maximizing time doesn't mean rushing like there's no tomorrow, and we're learning to fit in where everyone seems to be in a blind hurry. But either way, we needed to take time to slow down and to build relationships along the way, and we can't do that if we're always stuck out in the middle of nowhere which is exactly where we find ourselves next week. So double check that you're subscribed to see the prickly situation that we find ourselves in next. And until then, stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.